so i have a riddle for you today you know about the city of oslo yes mm-hmm. so from oslo there's an aeroplane that starts and goes southwards for say 5000 kilometers then it goes west for 5000 kilometers then from there again it goes north oh 5000 kilometers east 5000 now you have to tell me where does the plane reach does it reach square 1 or slow uh, well it will reach square 1 if the earth wasn't moving let's ignore suppose that it's not earth's moving. rotation we uh, ignore earth, yes the plane has made that adjustment acha the rotation has been ah, taken into taken consideration care of, because i am not discussing the speed here all right so just tell me if it is geosynchronized and then it is moving then like technically this, it should come back to the initial point come back point. to the initial point yeah like this diagram Correct. right yes so then why do you think i am asking this question <laughs> there is some catch here <laughs> but i am not able to understand this would you like to take a look at the globe and then maybe figure it out from here it goes from north to South five, south, south to, to west, 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 to, west north. to north, and north to back. I guess no, it it isn't reaching square one now. Now it is. When not. you look at the shape of the globe, globe, it won't because these uh, the shape is such that it is being crowded here, as in the area is lesser yeah, at the poles and much wider at the equator and the central region. Yeah. So you see, this is the shape of the Earth, and uh, one is moving. Up. a longer longitude yes from north to south yes right so we are moving from north to south, south then from south, south to, to west 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 to north and west to north what happens is that then you are again along this longitude so and then again we are making the same distance as this one mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. then you go there yeah. Okay. Right. So you have then now you have instead of where we had started, we had started on this line here. We started here. We yeah, ended somewhere at the back. Yes, this. because you have Behind to make this. this over here this same Constance. distance. So this is the what happens. This is the explaining the shape of the Earth. Each of these longitudes they are running north to south. Yes, they are. But they are not parallel to each other. Around the poles are. very nearer to each other yes we have made it into a flat diagram correct so when you are looking north to south and then east to west so you are measuring it in a this is in the 2d plane yes you have converted this 3d curved shape into a flat shape hence the and so therefore we are making this mistake that it does not come back so actually it will not happen here. it will yes so this is a flat representation correct this is what we say euclidean geometry So you mean in reality these areas are actually closer actually than they appear on yes, this paper? Yes, than they appear on this. So this is actually not the correct representation correct. that you are seeing over there. That is the answer that you don't come back to the same spot. Yes. However, you know the reason why you can ask me. Now, why did you ask for Oslo in specific? Yes. Yes. So now that's a good question. That why did I zero in on Oslo? Because the more you come towards this center. Mm-hmm. it becomes more or less you know it Flattened. becomes yes it looks re- more rectangular you see the north to south are so close together Correct. each of these longitude lines are so close to each other whereas if you were to cut a section here it would be more or less the same but if you come here then you oh, see that's that why it took somewhere on the poles <laughs> yes so that is why i okay. asked you about oslo and not about new delhi I didn't ah. ask that if you're going from okay. from New Delhi because then you would get more or less the same. Even then, it will not be exact. Exactly. Correct. No, it agreed, will not agreed. be. It will because here also there will be slight change. There is a uh, at the poles the change is it much is, it is, yes. greater. And and if it's a very small distance, then it is less perceivable. Obviously. So if you are c- cutting a very small section from this foot, yeah. So it will be more or less the same. Uh, it will be rectangular. Got you. So if it has to be, that's why I asked. Uh, 5000 you know yes so that is great distance, distance. Yeah. okay the geographical north pole is at the center of the northern hemisphere with the axis of the earth running through the two geographical poles all lines of longitude converge at the geographical north pole at the north pole all directions point south east and west have no meaning The North Pole experiences six months of daylight during summers of the Northern Hemisphere, 
and six months of dark nights during winters of the northern hemisphere. The magnetic north pole is located about 500 kilometers south of the geographic north pole.